Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit different video because I'm going to the Titanic exhibition and I thought I will take you guys with me and maybe it will be interesting for you to see to see it as well. So let's go! Beautiful day today. It's not that hot but it's sunny. Saturday traffic. said that I'm a farmer's wife and that I should see if she will manage to survive or not. I don't know what happens <laughs> with that. So this exhibition probably wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea but if you like uh, documentaries and uh, uh, just facts about events and things that happened it would probably be interesting to you. To me it was interesting because um, I like to know the facts and what happened. So as you can see there were a lot of paintings and videos uh, as well as uh, a lot of stuff and I'm not the kind of person to stop and uh, look at every everything and uh, read the description but it was interesting to see. Yeah as you can see it's just a lot of random things with explanations about it. I think the story is fascinating and um, the ship wasn't found for 73 years and then it was finally found so um, I don't know if these are the things that they actually got from down in the water or they just recreated and uh, they are forecasting that in uh, 2050 in the year 2050 there will be no traces left of titanic because obviously it is dissolving in the water this was a beautiful model as you can see it was recreated based on uh, uh, what the tr true ship, ship was like and that's the beginning of the of the ship that's where the famous scene in titanic of uh, with the DiCaprio and, K and Kate Winslet was filmed and the ship was carrying a lot of cargo and it was meant to be brought to New York and uh, dropped there that obviously never happened and here uh, it's just the ad that um, has prices of the tickets for the third class so now it seems that it's not expensive but it was a long time ago so I'm sure that it must have been pretty expensive and just some more stuff is just a suit of the crew member I guess some suitcases and um, here we are entering the first class cabins rooms so yeah it looks it looks gorgeous it looks old-fashioned now but in those days I'm sure it was very fancy so yeah very beautiful rooms it was a lot of people as well because uh, uh, tomorrow is the last day of, of the exhibition so I'm sorry guys that we won't be able to check it out if you're in Sydney that's the dining table that's how it looked like with the dishes and things and that's just one of the rooms in the first class and that's how it looked it's it's quite dark so I'm sorry that you can't really see that well and that's just that famous staircase that if you watched the Titanic movie you would have seen it in some scenes and there was a person dressed uh, like a captain so a lot of people were taking photos with him or just on the staircase and the ceiling was just gorgeous so it was quite a big thing that they recreated this whole staircase yeah that's the man with the suit that's quite funny and that's um, the area of the third class so you can see what it looked like obviously it's way less fancy as you can see it's four beds four single beds in one room for people to sleep in a third class so it was the first the second and the third class and this is uh, just uh, 
um, where all the coal was burning for the engine to run I guess so that's how it looked like and here it's just a deck so they were trying to show it as if it was at night and those uh, lights there represented the stars and yeah it looked really lovely I love those windows so yeah it was just a deck decorated with a lot of lights and yeah it's quite dark I don't know if you can see well but if you can see it looks beautiful and that was just that iceberg that they hit and uh, here's some information about the final moments and uh, so uh, firstly the captain wasn't even concerned he thought that they would not hit the iceberg but they did and this is the room there they provided with some clothing so people could like uh, do a dress up and take some photos uh, i didn't do that because i i was by myself and i didn't want I didn't want to wear random clothes so yeah but other people obviously went for it and I think it's cool it's quite playful so yeah that was this area I think it's cool that they, they made this area it just made the exhibition more interesting and that's the original poster for the movie uh, when it was first released and uh, I don't remember which year I think it will show and it has uh, signature signatures and uh, yes so and that's the painting of Kate Winslet, I guess, or it looks like it, uh, from the movie Titanic. And j just some more outfits, um, just to showcase what the um, dresses and suits of that time looked like. That's probably for first class clients. And there was a store where you could buy some souvenirs, so nothing too exciting. I didn't buy anything because usually it's just overpriced crap. So that's it. Let me know, guys, if you like this kind of videos, if you found this interesting. As I said, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know if you want me to do more this kind of videos, just, you know, to go to some exhibitions or events or just nice places in Sydney and just to show you. and to talk about it just to tell you more in case you're coming in Sydney or if you live here and you may also want to check it out so please let me know in the comments below if you like this video or what should I do differently and uh, once again I hope you enjoyed it and um, have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video